now we move on to the part three of the exam the 21 to 23 questions will be in writing you will have to write in detail the formulas and the methods and then solve the final answer so each of the step and the method carries marks now the the 21st topic is to solve problems based on tangents or secants over here when you look at this figure, you can easily understand this is regarding to tangents. Now, over here, this is a tangent. Sorry. It touches the part of the circle such that it will form a 90 degree and it only touches one point, never more. So, it's easy to understand this. And now, if you know these both are tangents, then there, uh, there's a theorem that states the other two angles, the between two angles, will be supplementary. That means when, when I add this both, I should get 180 degree. So now, the D, measure of angle D, that is BDC, is 12X. That plus measure of angle A is given, 4X plus 4 must be equal to 180 degrees. Now, I can put this directly in the calculator and solve it. Uh, sorry, don't do it directly in the calculator. You need to do some steps. Over here, 12 x plus 4x would be 16x then take the 4 to the other side 180 minus 4 that would be 176 and now you can divide x 176 by 16 and it will be about 10 11 x will be equal to 11 so this is how we can solve but you can double check your answer from any of the step from even the first step if you want you can double check it just type it in the calculator 12 x plus 4 x plus 4 equals 180 and just press shift and solve you're going to get the answer it's 11 you can double check the answer but i'm sorry it's not over over here i have found only x and they want the measure of angle a now please put this x value back over here instead of 4 put the value 11 and solve you will get 44 plus Four, that is 48 degrees so the angle of the measured a angle the measure of the angle a is 48 degrees this is how we solve it you can see all the steps over here this is how we can easily solve it up similarly you can solve the remaining over here qpps is given p is the one in the middle that means that's the angle qps p is in the middle therefore that is the angle over here so that is 15x plus 7 and r is 10x minus 3 put it uh, add them both and they must be supplementary or equal to 180 and then you can solve it up and find the measure of r whatever the x value put it back in the r over here it'll be 10 times 7 minus 3 and you can easily get the answer now over here we have another type of problems each polygon is circumscribed about a circle what circumscribed means is very simple you're tightly fitting a, a circle inside a polygon such that all the sides touching the circle are tangents so remember all these are tangents to the circle now we need to find each uh, perimeter of each polygon now over here you must remember this is a tangent this is a tangent this is a tangent all are these tangents okay now there is a rule that states whenever uh, two tangents are cutting like this these two lines the side of the lines will be equal i'll just change the color we are now these both are equal if this is 13 then this is also 13. if this is 10 this is also 10 over here this is 13 and if this is 17 this is also 17. that is how you can easily know or what you can do is the simpler way i know both the lines will be 13 so 2 times 13 plus 2 times 10 plus 2 times 17 this will be the answer for the perimeter you can just put it in the calculator then and solve it up over here they have done the same 2 times 17 2 times 10 and 2 times 13 the answer would be 80. same way you can solve the others remember this is equal now we it's one that means over here there is one as well six and six two two and two over here similarly you can solve all of these 
and just the same method you will get the answers same thing over here but now over here you can see they have given unknown values say x or over here you can say 2x you need to find the value of x and then the perimeter so what can you do how do you find x now i know the entire length is 26 this much is 18 so what is this much over here it's 18 so all you need to do is 26 minus 18 that will be equal to x because x is so much right that is 26 minus 18 equals x so that is 8 that is the value of x and once you know that 8 you can easily solve for the perimeter because we just now solved the perimeter first solve for x that is 8 and over here 2 times 8 plus 2 times 14 plus 2 times 18 will be the answer similarly you can solve all of this now you can over here see there is this is the easier method would be find the x over here x is very simple you know x will be equal to 2x 8 will be equal to 2x so x is 4 x is equal to 4 divide both the sides by 2 now how do you find the perimeter this over here see all this it's like a square isn't it now what you can do is if this is 16 this is also 16 don't you agree and then this is 8 this is 8 this is also 16 all 16 16 16 sides you can add or use the formula of a perimeter of a square that is uh sorry over here they have not used but what you can do is 4 times 16 you can do and get 64 it's up to you you can you you, you can see this particular figure and understand this is a square the formula for perimeter of a square is 4 times side if you do not remember the formula don't worry add the 16 this 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 and you will get 64 so any of you do you will get the same answer and then over here it's the same thing you can find the x over here these both can be equated and simply solve it solve it by yourself and then double check your answers all the answers are solved up over here